Hello. Oh, you've got a microphone. Yeah. No back delay. Hello. So, uh, I guess I should turn this off. That's annoying. <laughs> we are accepting the Pod Mod Patch Challenge. Um, inspired by the book 1Q84, as we learned from the most recent episode of the show, the Podular Modcast, if you're not familiar with it. We'll have to tag that. I put it in the story warning everyone that we were going live. <laughs> um, so, Podular Modcast, the podcast about modular synthesizers. It, uh, Hosted by Tim Held. Yeah. <laughs> sent out a uh, challenge for um, a patch, I guess a live on the fly patch. I'm not sure exactly the parameters. Uh, the patch challenge, so it's um, two words, so. and I think it's a noun and an adjective, or adjective and noun, vice versa. And uh, basically you make a patch out of yeah. those two words. So we're doing it live. We love to do things live. So we're doing a little different kind of thing today. So. Sometimes we drone, and other times when we've gone live, we'll do like our space soundtrack improv stuff. Today is a little different um, because we're doing this patch challenge. So the words that he gave us, or he gave everyone, are Air Chrysalis, which is from that book 1Q84, if anyone's read it, which I just happened to have read it many years ago. So I know what this is about, what an air chrysalis is. If you don't, you can try to look it up, but it's kind of cryptic to find any information. <laughs> um, but it is pretty fantastical. It's a sci-fi novel. So um, an air chrysalis is literally a chrysalis made from pulling strands out of the air by miniature creatures. Usually they come out of your mouth. I don't know if that ruins it, but that's <laughs> it doesn't ruin the story you or anything the book. or the uh, or the patch challenge. But um, I, I'm, you know, Augustus is going to explain and do his patch here live, and I'm just going to accompany him with the Mellotron and you know my effects and my voice because I just wanted to like support the patch that he creates rather than have like dueling patches. So, but I would say that your vocals and keyboard patch patch and patching into my body chain. it's all part of the patch i would say this this is the patch all together globally is the patch yeah i definitely um, was you know i spent some time thinking about which sounds because the mellotron you can do two sounds together if you're not familiar with this newfangled version of the mellotron um so i spent some time thinking about you know the best sounds for that too so, take it away. Uh, so, some of you may be familiar with my journey with the Buchla format. Um, you know, most of the, the pod mod stuff is centered around Eurorack, but I'm a Buchla guy. Um, and so we're going to get started. So I'm thinking uh, you got to have a little noise if you're going to do something with the air or related to the air. Nothing really emulates a swooshing air sound <laughs> better than noise. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, filtration <laughs> um, with a bandpass filter for the Buchla heads out there. It's the 291 uh, clone. So we're going source of uncertainty, flat noise um, into the 291 clone. And it sounds something like this. But I'm going to add uh, a little bit of fluctuating random voltage from the source of uncertainty just to get like, um, you know, a little bit of variation there. So we'll go ahead and apply that to the uh, center frequency and dial that back just a little bit. And 
so now we've got kind of like a wrestling wind here. Menacing, if you will. I'm going to turn it down a bit. Uh, I'm going to turn the voltage to a slower rate so that it's a little less, like, chaotic. And... Um... Next, I'd like to uh, add some random voltage to the uh, digital resonator by way of the um, source of uncertainty. Glad I have the source of uncertainty involved. It's it's really kind of key. Yeah, it's 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 the random voltage source. I mean, there's plenty of uh, options in like Eurorack land, like you know the Turing machine, which was something that um, by Music Thing Modular was something that I, I was pretty into reading about. I like to read about Eurorack stuff, even though it's not really my format. Uh, there's lots of interesting modules. But this is kind of the, the Buchla random uh, voltage source. So in order for it to start doing stuff, we have to actually send it um, some pulses. So I'm going to generate some pulse action from a 280 um, quad envelope generator. And I'm going to have a couple of those going at different rates. And then uh, from there, we'll go ahead and send those voltages from both the quantized voltage um, as well as the stored random voltage. And I'm going to send that to the frequency and to the dampener on the digital resonator, which is basically a source of an, uh, a bucla format rings by uh, mutable instruments. And we'll go ahead and plug that in so we hear the audio from that. Anticipation right now. <laughs> yeah, feel free to talk about the book while I'm doing this. Let's talk about the book. <laughs> um, I would like ask questions, but I can't really see. I can't see far enough onto the screen to see if anyone's there or talking to us. But uh, if anyone has read One Two Eight Four and liked it. I know people have strong opinions about it, but this patch is inspired by that. Podmod challenge, Podmod patch challenge for anyone just joining us. Um, the words of inspiration for this patch are Air Chrysalis from the book 1Q84, the sci-fi novel by Haruki Murakami. And one of my favorite novels, just happens to be what the inspiration is. <laughs> Alright, so now we got a little bit of sound happening. And I'm also going to be running it through the stereo micro sound processor, which is the uh, Buchla answer to the clouds module from Eurorack. So we're going to add some of that in there. I have it on the spectral madness mode. My goal with this is to get some of the chrysalis action going on, so. Oh, getting there, getting there. This sounds. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it now. A little bit more chrysalis-like, I would say. Definitely feel the airiness, the mystery, the 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 cocoon nature, I guess, is what we're going for now. It's also 
kind of dark, you know, the story is, and the themes, and the reason for the air chrysalis in the story. Cool. I think we're, we're we approaching, achieve, yeah. We have achieved the desired goal. So we thought once we kind of landed on this that we would just do some improvising together on this once it's been established. So the January part of it, I guess. I don't really, I don't really know what the parameters are for January, but I know it's happening. Cause like I would say every month's. Uh... Every day is January. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every every day, every month. So can I support this? with some airy Christmas sounds myself. I'm feeling a lot of Ruth White inspiration right now. Everybody knows Ruth White's work. It would have been cool if I had a piece of like some passages to read from a QA form, but I don't know. <laughs> But I like the sound of laughter with the delay. <laughs> There's like a, the air of Christmas is usually involving the children, usually adults. The sound of creepy laughter seems appropriate. Let's see if I can get that.
some lower uh, frequency noise. Uh, running through a low pass filter of the uh, 292 low pass gate.
conjured the strangeness. since added a little bit of ring modulator into the mix. So maybe we can explain that. <laughs> uh, there's a... Um, algorithm from the dual algorithmic oscillator that's uh, two mutable instruments braids of the same module. There's a algorithm called ring. And that's what you're hearing is the sound source it's not wind. It's not this. It sounds really pretty. Anyway, that's uh, that's all we wanted to do today. Something different. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks for checking it out.